Hello everyone, it's Stars of Tomorrow. Peter Pan here. <laughs> My goodness, it is so good to see you all. I cannot believe that I lost my shadow. It happened to me once before. Do you remember? Wendy had it. Oh, she was very nice. Oh, she made such a good mother. She told stories. So many stories. In fact, some of her stories were so exciting that I flew all the way back to Neverland and I told them to the Lost Boys and they believed those stories. <laughs> it was so good because, I mean, I had some really wonderful adventures, but let's be real, Wendy's stories about my adventures were so much better than mine, <laughs> which are amazing. Like, I love her story about what she thinks happened when I met Tinkerbell. <laughs> oh, Tinkerbell pink jealous little pixie she is she made such a fuss when i brought wendy to neverland do you remember that part of my story <laughs> that that wasn't made up by anybody that was actually real tinkerbell lost it so much that she turned bright red i've never seen her glow that color do you change colors when you get angry i know rapunzel has a chameleon pascal he changes colors whenever he gets shy or whenever he gets happy or whenever whenever i guess <laughs> which is kind of funny because the exact same thing happened to tink here she is she got mad, Pfft, bright red, which I'm so glad that Tink cares about me. Because if she didn't, then the bomb that went off, because Hook is an evil, nasty pirate, oh, that would have done me in for sure if Tink hadn't been there to help me and to take away that bomb. <sighs> Tink, she is a real pal. <laughs> do you have any real pals at home? I hope you do. Pals are important. Now, I have the Lost Boys, obviously, and I also like to think that Wendy is a pal of mine. She's very nice. We call her mother, but really, she's more like a pal. She's not old enough to be anybody's mother, although she's a very good storyteller. Oh, so many stories. So, her story about how I met Tink is one of my favorites. Oh, hello there, friend. Welcome to my story. I was just explaining when I met Tinkerbell. So, <clears throat> get this. Here I am, and I was in a small canoe that Tiger Lily helped me carve out of a tree. We had so much fun. It took months to carve that canoe, but we did it. Every single day, we worked and we worked and we made ourselves a canoe. And then here I am, I'm in my canoe and I'm rowing and I'm rowing and I am enjoying myself because there's nothing more wonderful than to fly and to be in a boat. Those are the two most wonderful things. Well, and I guess storytelling is up there too. But, oh man, so many wonderful stories. Hello, friend, welcome. So, I'm in my canoe that Tiger Lily helped me make, and I'm rowing, and I'm rowing, and I'm enjoying myself. And I swim by the Mermaid Lagoon, and I say, hi, everyone. Oh, it's so good to see you all. And they are just hilarious, those mermaids. My, my, my. My favorite thing that they do is sing. I love it when the mermaids sing. It's so beautiful. Beautiful. I've never heard a song so lovely as when mermaids sing. So I was enjoying the song and I kind of got lost in all the melody and just thinking so many happy thoughts. And I thought, wow, I love this. And then I looked up and I didn't know where I was anymore. I was not in the middle of the the lake or the, the ocean, the ocean. It's the ocean, folks. And I was so nervous, I didn't know what to do. I thought, I don't know, I think I'm in a cave. And I was, this was my very first time that I was in Skull Rock. And all around me, there was rocks and bats and it was scary, let me tell you, and I couldn't see the exit. And I must have just had my eyes closed, rowing and listening to the mermaids, enjoying my life, and then here I am, stuck in the rocks. So, life lesson for everyone, pay attention to where you're going. You can't close your eyes while riding or swimming or driving or anything like that. So don't get distracted, mermaids are very distracting. <sighs> It was dangerous. Anyway, so here I was, and I thought, oh, this is not good. And now this is before I met Tinkerbell, remember, so I couldn't fly. And the water was rising in the cave, and it was really, really scary, and I didn't know what to do. So, oh, 
I looked up and I looked over and I thought, oh no, what's that blinking light making so much noise like a jingle bell? Jingle bell, hmm, it's not even Christmas time. And lo and behold, it was Tink. Her wing had gotten stuck between two rocks because Tinkerbell is a helpful fairy. She collects pixie dust, she knows how to fix things, and she's pretty smart for the most part when she's not really jealous, she's really smart. So here's Tinkerbell, and her wing got stuck as she was reaching for this magical mushroom that she was going to give to Alice from Wonderland to help her be smaller and taller, because pixie dust doesn't work in Wonderland. You have to use mushrooms, and Tink had found some, which I thought was very, very clever. So here she was, and her poor wing was stuck, and I thought, well, I've never really seen a green fairy like this before. Peter Pan! Oh no! Oh, Peter! No. Do you hear that? Peter! Look, I'll hide. Peter Pan! Don't, don't tell him I'm here. Where are you? Where are you, Peter? Peter. Shmee! You said Peter Pan was over here on Instagram Live! Where are you? Where is he? Ooh! Hello there, you handsome devil. Oh, is, is this me? Oh, this is me. I'm quite handsome today. The shirt is so good on. Oh, who are you? Are there people in here? What is this? <gasps> are you Peter Pan's new lost boys? Well, you don't. You have to tell me where Peter Pan is at. Where is he? Why aren't you saying anything? Where is Peter Pan? Me? Where is he? Oh boy, that was close. Thanks for not giving me away, everyone. Oh, so to finish my story real quick, here I was in my canoe, I reached over to Tink, and I helped yank her free, and from that moment on, we were best of friends, and she was amazing. But now, Hook is on the loose, I gotta go. Here I am, quarantined without Tinkerbell, and I don't have any pixie dust, so I can't escape quickly. But if you go to starsoftomorrowchildrenstheater.com, you can find the link to see me again. All right, everyone, goodbye, stay safe, and until next time, second star on the right, and straight on till morning.